Yeah, or should we put it on something higher so it's not okay. in the Hello! So I said that we were gonna do a video all about sex with Dayon. <laughs> Postpartum. We'll touch on a little bit before as well. I feel like we need to paint the picture for yeah. what our sex life was like and then what it was like during pregnancy and then what it's like now. Do you want to start? In the beginning, like we obviously had a lot of sex. Sex drive was high and then it slowly started to like, you know, we started getting busy, starting to think about our life. So. You know, sex would happen spontaneously every now and yeah, then. Yeah, I remember like when we first started going out and even like before that, like how do people know exactly when they make a baby? Because how little are you having sex that you know exactly what day you conceived that baby? And I'm like, yeah, I get it now. <laughs> because we know exactly the day that we conceived Blue. And, and that that's, was on our two-year anniversary. Yeah, it was our two-year anniversary and we really, like we went from having sex like like multiple times a day mm -hmm. to and like it was always very like athletic sex very spontaneous i think as we focused on other things in our life it just wasn't as much of a priority for us i think as well it was like we were work i had two jobs as well yeah. and we were working a lot and there would be times too like where i would just be too tired when you were horny as well yeah. so yeah, it's just, I felt like when we were so busy, we were just like focused on so many other things that like when we did have sex, it was more of like that moment for us to relax and like yeah. be with each other. Like when we went on I mean? a vacation, like we would have sex. Yeah. And I think it, I think for me, sex is very much like when I'm feeling like very like happy and in the moment and when I feel really stressed and like other things are occupying my mind, like I just can't, I just can't shut that off to be like, okay, let me be here with you, you know? So that's what sex is like. But it was always an understanding. It wasn't like... Oh my god, I'm not being touched or maybe I'm not yeah. being desired. It was just an understanding. It's like we're doing other things. Yeah. yeah. So basically our sex drives were very high. Um, and then I got pregnant and it just my sex drive just went completely like it died. Like if you listen to my um what like my postpartum body video, I talked about it a bit there, but I I just had no desire whatsoever like i did not want to be touched i did not want to touch i didn't want anything that was remotely sexual like i don't know what it was but like just no part of me was and interested I, and i heard all these rumors that like pregnant girls get like hornier or like the sex drive goes up so i was like all right i'm ready well yeah like even like other people that i talked to some people like have really high sex drives and then i've seen other um youtubers talk about it like i don't know if you guys watch shan booty but like she talks about how she wanted to have sex when she was pregnant and he didn't want to we had the opposite problem <laughs> because dan wanted to and i think part of it is because i really one just didn't feel horny at all but two like as my belly was growing and as blue was growing i just like no part of my body felt sexy like i didn't like i felt like my body my body's function has had changed where before it's very sexual like i felt very sexual i didn't feel that way at all because i felt like i was a vessel for life that sounds so gross but like <laughs> that's like what it felt like was just like that was my body's purpose right now i felt more i don't know it's like it's like sex and love go together yeah and i think like i felt a lot of like love because i'm like you're gonna be the mother of my child and I was just like so happy and I was like I want to make love like, to you Dan was like always attacking me I know, I know <laughs> and it's like but in the same time too is like we, we had sex a few times while you were pregnant but like in the same time it's like it's a different kind of sex than like what I think we would want to have as well it's very safe it's very like oh mm -hmm. is this okay like oh like oh it's a lot of just like but also like yeah like position. <laughs> there's less positions in which you are comfortable it's not in less, as well it's and... not athletic <laughs> it's not rough by any means oh, of course it's very yeah. sensual I still found you very attractive as yeah. like a pregnant woman which I think like before you becoming pregnant is something that I might have thought is like might be weird or like maybe I don't know if I can get into it but having you as like a pregnant woman I was like man she's so attractive right now yeah so I had but, the yeah so it was hard like we did have to communicate through a lot of it because I did have to assure you like it's literally it has nothing to do with you it's just everything that's happening to my body like I can't control the way that I feel I can't like my hormones like I can't control that at all but also just the fact that like the way that I saw my body had shifted and I couldn't 
fight that. As much as I tried to make you feel sexy, it's still no. Well, it sexy is something much, that yeah, like sexy isn't yourself. something. Yeah, it's not something that somebody else can give to you or make you feel about yourself. It's something that you feel about yourself and your body. So, Tell them, girl. so, so basically, like I told you, like I told you that like I don't want to have sex right now because like I don't want this to become my idea of sex. Like I don't want this like safe, fragile non-sexy feeling that i'm feeling to be associated with it and so we did try a couple times and i was like very worried that like i would begin to conflate sex in this way so then once we had blue i kind of figured that it would be a while you know until my hormones get back into the groove and i was hoping that my sex drive would go back up and it really didn't like i felt exactly the same and then around eight months is when i got my period still nothing <laughs> so i was like okay i don't really know like when this is gonna happen um and so like basically for eight months postpartum we it was pretty much exactly the same as when i was pregnant like we didn't really have sex we maybe tried to have sex like three or four times but and it was also like a healing process yeah like i was in so much pain like immediately after i was in a lot of pain so there's just absolutely no way and i did go see like a pelvic floor specialist and when she was doing her exam she was saying that there is a lot of sensitivity and i mentioned this in my last video as well but my body is just, it just experienced a lot of trauma and so right now it's not entirely sure like is it a penis is it a baby do we like this it feels really raw really tight it's not even like born again virgin like it just was so much worse than that um and she advised me to you know just like try and masturbate just like get your body feeling pleasure again so then it like feels safe and like before you even try to like penetrate or anything like that but the thing is like because my hormones hadn't really rebalance themselves i didn't ever feel like masturbating which is also very different for me because i used to a lot um and so yeah just like no sexual desire and also just a lot of pain so my connection to my sexual being just kind of like went out the window and i don't know if you want to jump in here and talk about what that experience was like for you well for me it's like <laughs> For me it's rough because like y'all know it's COVID as well so it's like not even that I can't have sex with you but I also can't play basketball which means like all that pent up testosterone can't like really leave my body. Also like I don't really like working out so there's like no real way for me to like release release it so Well I because mean, it's usually pretty like aggressive like when we yeah. have sex like and that's the thing, yeah. and, if, and if we were to like, cause we did have sex a few times like postpartum and it was just, it was like a different kind of sex. Like it was like- It was very fragile. Yeah, it was very slow. Like making sure that like you're okay. It just felt weird for me to just like. Well, it's hard when you really want to, but your partner clearly is really struggling. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> so... Like I, for me, it's really hard to get into it as well. If, if like you're not into it, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, I, where, why would I get pleasure if you're not, you know, so. Also, I totally forgot, but I know that a lot, I didn't, I never even thought of this as a thing because we've seen like literally the ins and outs of each other. We've seen us at our worst, um, but I've seen other videos that people have talked about, like if you looked down there, like when I was giving birth and if that like changed the way that you see me and things like that. So um, just for people that don't know the type of birth that I had, I went into labor and I pushed for about, I wanna say like three hours. I pushed for about three hours and then I went into a C-section. So I didn't talk about this in my last video, but I will just mention my healing journey was particularly very hard because I tried to do both. I was fully dilated and I tried to push, but then I ended up not being able to. And so then I went into a C-section, whereas people that go into um, just vaginal birth or people that just go straight into a C-section, your healing is generally, obviously the fastest is vaginal and then usually C-section and then the slowest healing is for people like me that have kind of tried to do both. So that's why my journey is like a bit- Could be different. A bit, yeah, different and maybe more rough than other people's. Like some people give birth, like vaginal birth and then go back to work or are fully functioning within a week, which is mm. insane to me. <laughs> Cause within a week I, I could barely walk and I was in so much pain, but yeah. So you looked Did it change much there. for me? <laughs> I would say, yeah. I mean, I saw it, it was like expanding. I was like, I think the baby's gonna come out. I think I see his head. I don't think it was but um yeah i saw that i don't think it it definitely didn't change like the way that i view it's obviously yeah. different but like i feel like in a in a way that's like brought us closer you know what i mean because it's like it's a very special thing and it's like a thing that you have to do to like bring our baby into this world and i love it for that you know what i mean yeah. but i don't i don't see it as like something that would be like oh that's weird or that's gross yeah. or anything like that like that's 
Yeah. It's still you. It's still my baby. And it hasn't changed much. That shit bounces back. Yeah. We're very comfortable way. with each other's naked bodies. So like I never, like there was no doubt in my mind that like Dayon would see me in every aspect of pregnancy and birth and like and all of a sudden change. Yeah, and then and then change the way he saw me. Like that would be very odd to me if it did change because <laughs> I'm why? just trying to I'm just trying to get it back to like us having sex the way we did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically Which takes time, but we were gonna do this video like right after I made the last video, but then I was like, okay, I wanna just try and have sex like one more time and then see, you know, like kind of where we're at. So we had sex twice since that last video. And it was bomb. And it was bomb. It's really hard because I just feel really tight and really sensitive and it's like tender, it feels raw, and like I just can't push past that usually to a point where it feels good. So like the last two times that we had sex, I was able to get through that and it like, it barely, like I, I felt it, I felt the sensations that I usually do, but I was able to push past it like in the beginning of us trying. Um, and it really like the pain of it only lasted like a couple seconds. And then we were having sex like we used to. And yeah. it was like, normal i basically just like masturbated for like quite a long time beforehand and i think that in the past we never used to have to do that because like we could just jump right into it but i mean generally people say anyways that like foreplay is great before sex so that was like the one main difference that we had and even though i did feel a bit of that tightness and sensitivity like it just fully went away as we went on. So like my hormones, I wouldn't say are like completely back to normal um, because I think around that time was like right after I had my period is when I was like so horny, which is the first time in honestly like two years <laughs> that I felt- it's my longest dry spell. Yeah, <laughs> that rough. I like have felt like really horny. And so, yeah, I won't say that like the hormones went back to normal, but now we know that like, when we both are on the same page, that it's possible. That it if you guys are going through it, just communicate. Because there were, I mean, it was rough at times. I think it was especially rough for you because yeah, like you're saying it was your longest dry spell. Yeah, it's like the longest dry spell. I can't play basketball. So there's a lot of like pent up, pent up aggression, so to speak. But I think it's, it's hard not to, like if you're if you're doing everything that you can to like make the other person feel sexy and you obviously want to feel that back it's hard not to take it personal unless you communicate like we did but yeah. obviously at times I, I can't help but feel like is it me like am i not am i not sexy enough? yeah like do i not turn you on and i'm like i'm gonna be honest this whole conversation <laughs> i don't even want to have right now because it's so not about you and stop making it about you yeah but it's hard but, i mean i think that's like human nature yeah. to like to like make it make you feel like is it me but but also i should clarify that it's not like it was a dry spell where you just like you, you still masturbated so it's like you still it, but it's just yeah it's a dry spell it's yeah, i guess so yeah it's not the same like, i know but i but i just don't want to like paint the picture that you just like were like i either need to have sex or i'm just not gonna come mm -hmm. <laughs> So I hope that's all you guys really wanted to know, or if like you guys learned something from it. We don't know how to end it because it's it. like, okay, we're good now. Yeah, I mean, like, how much I mean, detail yeah. do we give you? Like, how much detail do we leave out? Um, it's coming back. The sex is coming back, yeah. and it's it's a are, journey. Yeah, for sure. And like, things will never be the same. But like, that's like the beauty of all of it. Yeah. So I think like that has maybe like been one of like the hard, not hardest, but just like. Like you always, I think with pregnancy, the narrative is always like bounce back and like get back to, but like. There's you're so never, much more to it. Yeah, like you're never really gonna get back there. And I, I hope that we get to a place where our sex drive is as high as it was when we first met. But realistically, like- When we're retired. Yeah, maybe when we're retired. But like, I think as life goes on, like we just have so many other things to do and like responsibilities. And like, I think as long as we're communicating in both on the same page and feeling fulfilled, then it doesn't need to be as as much as it was in the mm -hmm. beginning, which was excessive. <laughs> but that's the thing, right? Every, like your relationship goes through stages. Yeah. And like in the beginning, that's like what was really like, like fun for us and like a way for us to like really get to know each other, get comfortable with each other. And like, yeah. it was the fun thing for us to do. Whereas like, there's like more things we can do. We can work on our home together. We can like decorate together, like do things that we really enjoy yeah. as opposed to just like, you know, doing stuff in bed, you know what I mean? And now yeah, it's back like- Yeah, back then all we did was literally like have sex, eat out, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what Girl, did we I do? was like late for work every day. Yeah, it's like you went to work, I went to school, we had sex and we ate together. Like that's like what we did. But then now there's obviously just so much more stuff we have to do and so much more stuff we want to do. So mm -hmm. it's not like I need to go out there and find it somewhere else. Like I'm super happy where I'm at, even though this is the longest dry spell I've ever had in my life. Like, you can't keep calling it dry spell when we've already had sex. I know, I know. Like it, it actually was, was dramatic. It was the longest dry spell. Now I'm just talking, now I'm just rambling, sorry. Follow me at Your Girl Needs. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Day On Stay Off. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.